everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we have a little surprise. This is a Bushwhacker Plus 15 RE. It's a 2023 model, but actually what you're looking at is the only one in existence. This is the prototype. So Bushwhacker has graciously allowed us to take a look at this prototype to bring you this video. It's going to weigh in approximately 2,140 pounds and you should be seeing it in, on dealer's lots in the very near future. Now, I'm gonna take you through it. Just remember that this is a prototype and there might be some minor little tweaks that will occur. First thing, we have the nice, sure, solid steps. We have two stabilizing jacks at the back to give it nice stability when we're inside. When we walk in, we have the fridge right next to the door. So even if you're barbecuing, prepping outside, it's nice and easy to get to. It's a nice large fridge for being able to get off the beaten path. When we come in, we have our wet bath here. Now, I have commented in the past that I like the surround because it looks like a, a tile. It has some coloring in it. It's just very nice to look at and will finishes off the area nicely. Also, they have the built-in shower door screen which is really easy to use and basically is almost self-cleaning. So we do have our toilet, toilet here, full wet bath, there's our shower head, and it's a good size to be able to be utilized. Now, on the right, we have a sofa, and it is a futon style sofa that'll fold flat if you really needed that extra space. Above it, we have our entertainment center with two speakers and some storage. So let's pop that storage open for you. It's a decent sized storage considering the size of the unit, right? We're only about a 15 foot trailer, so we are compact. On the left side of the trailer, we have our microwave, our wall mounted air conditioner. So if you do have a generator or power in the hot weather, you're going to be able to stay cool. Down below it are two burners which are propane burners, our single stainless steel sink, and then over on this side, we have our main, I like to call it our command center because we have our water pump, our gas and electric water heater switches, and then our buttons for our tank gauges. And then we also have a 110 plug-in here for coffee makers, toasters, etc. Down below, we actually have some storage and it's nice and deep so you can actually put some pretty decent gear in here and then just below that is our breakers and our fuses now we do have a furnace on board so in cooler weather you can stay nice and warm and being that it's a small trailer even though we have lights on it's a fairly sunny day and it's bright in here and that's because we have two decent windows that let in a fair amount of light, plus the door behind us that you could throw the screen on. It does have a permanent bed, so for those of you that want a permanent bed, it is here, and you're going to be able to get a good night's sleep, and then coupled, we have a nice shelf above it to be able to put glasses, phones, or just general storage. Now, on our ceiling in the kitchen area, we also have a 12 volt high volume fan. So if you're off the grid, you can open up the windows, move some air around, or just close that screen door and help move that air around. Now, let's go outside and take a little walk around the trailer and look at some of the features. So we do have these black and polished aluminum rims with the slightly more aggressive tires. We also have uh, what I've called in another video, the Extenda Kitchen. So when it's an outdoor kitchen, you get an Elite Series grill and a sink. So you have that extra flexibility outside, clean up. If you're prepping, uh, maybe you've gone fishing, you wanna prep some fish, etc. Also a nice feature is this extra storage compartment. So now you have space to put some extra gear that you're gonna take along with you. Up front, we have space for two batteries, a single propane tank, 
And if you're going to do a lot of off-grid camping, you're probably going to want to look at um, two batteries or maybe looking at lithiums, etc. Now on this side, we have our exhaust for our furnace, our city water connection, here's our hot water tank, and then of course our power connection. This should be a plug-in for a solar panel. We have an outside shower, but remember, that's not for thrilling the neighbors. And our fresh water fill for our tank. Now, our dump valve is right down here, nice and easy to get to. That's basically the 15RE. I do want to thank Bushwhacker for the opportunity to take a look at a prototype that is coming out to dealers. So for more information, visit their website. I'll post a link below. Thank you to you guys for viewing this video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. I try to respond to most comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button as we're trying to push past the 10,000 subscriber mark. So thank you very much, guys. I look forward to seeing you back at the channel. Make sure you live life to the fullest each and every day. Take care.